This is a civil investigation, so there are no criminal charges that were brought about today. The attorney general said that it's possible that uh, other prosecutors who are looking at this report might do their own investigation and potentially bring about uh, criminal charges. The women who were sexually harassed could also bring about lawsuits. And meanwhile, lawmakers in the assembly right now are discussing about what to do with uh, an impeachment probe that's been ongoing. And there are lawmakers who are calling for the governor to uh, resign or be impeached. The assembly is controlled by Democrats, so their OK would really need would be needed to send impeachment charges to the to the Senate. Right now, the assembly is investigating um, whether there are grounds to impeach the governor. For several months now, the Assembly's Judiciary Committee has been leading a very wide-ranging um, and unprecedented impeachment probe. There's only been one other impeachment in New York history, so there are a lot of uh, unknowns about what counts as grounds for impeachment, and there's no agreement on that issue. So there's no clear timetable for that. So that's why there's a lot of lawmakers who are calling for the governor to sort of avoid that confusion and step down. What we're seeing right now is a lot of reiterations of uh, people who had called for the governor to resign in March and April, who are again calling for the governor to resign, including Senator Schumer um, and top Democrats in the Assembly and Senate. And there are also at least half a dozen lawmakers who were more hesitant a couple months ago, who are now calling for the governor to resign. Um, but there's still a lot of leading Democrats in the assembly who haven't come out in support of impeachment. And that's where impeachment would need to start.